What's up, Race Foundation, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a video coming on a review that has been long awaited Alpha Pump by Nutrex Research. Welcome to Price Plow. You guys saw it at the block party with Natural Body. You saw it on our blog, raving about it. I've now tested it with all of our top pre-workouts. I tested it as a standalone, and I'm ready to talk to you about this simple yet effective formula. Nutrix Research wanted to bring to the market a different kind of pump uh, product. They wanted to bring something that could stand on its own and yet be added to any product. Now, there are a lot of pump products out there. Most of the time, they're pretty much like a stim-free pre-workout. You know, you see six grams of citrulline usually, uh, some nitrosagene, agmatine, you know, the, the normal run-of-the-mill pump stuff. But the problem with that in Nutrix's eyes, which we kind of agree with, is that if you add that to a normal pre-workout, you are kind of sometimes doubling some of the dosages like citrulline will add up, nitrogen will add up, any kind of those ingredients that are kind of popular in both categories are going to add up. So what Nutrex did was they looked up clinically uh, validated ingredients for pump or endurance and put them together in a novel product that isn't going to add up in your actual regular product. Now, this product is obviously formulated for outlift so they didn't use any ingredients that are an outlift now if you are using a product that uses some novel ingredients it may run into that effect I'm talking about where we are doubling up on ingredients here um, s7 glycer size are kind of the ones that are coming to my mind vaso 6 and a lot of products still however for the majority of products most of these ingredients are not involved with them for pre-workout so i'm pretty excited about doing this review for you guys so Alpha Pump starts off with an ingredient, just like another one in there, that doesn't actually directly benefit you in terms of pump. I'm talking vasodilation, I'm talking uh, you know, the relaxing of the vein, or more blood being driven to the body, uh, more nitric oxide production or anything like that. We've got two ingredients here that actually are just kind of performance boosters, which in that, I think indirectly they affect the pump. But overall, if I could change the name of Alpha Pump, I probably would to something that's pump and performance related because this is product does not just stop at pump. It adds in a lot of performance and endurance benefits as well. I'm talking about Peak O2 here. Peak O2 is a blend of mushrooms here that is going to help with performance, endurance. It's going to help you have longer sets, longer sessions as a whole. And overall, it's going to give you a better workout, which is going to end with a better pump, obviously. Uh, we're big fans of Pico 2. There's a whole gram in here. Uh, it's not the biggest dose we've ever seen, but there are studies to show that lower doses have great benefits as well. You want to check those out. Look in, the, uh, look in our blog. All our studies are cited in there for you. Um, we have seen small doses like these yield big results in endurance and performance. So we're happy to see a gram in here. This is a small scoop. It's meant to be an addition or a light supplement on its own. So you're not going to see a 28 gram pre-workout here. The other product that does not have a direct benefit on pump, but we are huge fans of, is this new Nuganda. This organic ashwagandha root extract is very similar to like the KSM you're normally used to seeing in a lot of the products that we review. You're going to see those same cortisol benefits, same cognitive benefits, same uh, endurance benefits. However, you're not going to see pump from this product. Overall, though, we see this as a great ingredient to be taking pre-workout. It's going to help with your endurance, your performance. It's going to lower cortisol, which could end in a bigger pump. Overall, it's a great ingredient to be taking pre-workout, and I'm totally fine seeing it in this product because I just love ashwagandha as a whole. Plus, I'm a nerd, and the new ingredient makes me kind of happy to see like an organic version with different studies for different benefits here. Now, when we get into the actual pump ingredients here, first one we're going to talk about here is glycercise. This glycercise is previously known as glycer pump. We're talking about a uh, lot of hydration here. When we're talking about the pump that comes from glycerides, it's going to be volumizing this, uh, the muscle cells with extra water. Now, what's important here is that you need water to contract your muscles. If you're dehydrated, you're not going to be contracting very well. You're not going to have a great pump. So this product is helping hydrate the muscle cells. You should be consuming a lot of water, especially during this. Drink a lot of water with this product. You're going to be driving water straight into the muscle cell and giving it a better pump. You also see some strength benefits from glycer size. You're going to see some, uh, um, a little bit of growth from this. Uh, there, there's some interesting uh, studies, but for all intents and purposes today, we're talking about pump from Alpha Pump. Next ingredient, Vaso 6 from Green Tea Extra. The studies are very solid. We know that Vaso 6 at 300 milligrams, which is the, uh, the dose that is shown in this product, it's going to have an awesome, awesome benefit in pump. It's going to be equal to grams and grams of other ingredients. 
Uh, the pump from 300 milligrams of Vaz6 is, they say, similar to 7 grams of arginine. I've seen it quoted as the same as 750 milligrams of triazogene. We're talking about taking a much, much smaller dose and yielding the same result. So we're always happy to see that because that gives more room for other dosages in here. This whole product is actually only 8.8 .8 grams for the blue raspberry flavor. So it's a really interesting add-on to a pre-workout because it's not a lot of powder being added for a big punch and pump. Now, even on its own with 8.8 .8 grams, I know I make fun of, you know, tiny little condensed doses sometimes, but at 8.8 .8 grams, I saw a great pump from this. I actually couldn't scratch my own neck after leaving after arm day at one point. Last ingredient here, S7. Uh, the initial studies that came out had some interesting um, <laughs> standards for who they were testing. Um, this is a product that is, uh, the science behind it is talking about antioxidants, lowering free radicals so that there can be more nitric oxide produced. Now, they didn't actually study this on trained individuals, but the results were insane. We're talking about 230% nitric oxide boost here. Now, even if we're talking about that being an untrained individual, if it brings back the for a trained individual to be 100% or whatever, it's still a huge boost here. We're happy to see that. Now, that was the last active ingredient shown on the panel. What I'm gonna do is talk to you guys about two other ingredients in here that are, uh, I would say, underestimated for how much they're going to help here. They have potassium and sodium added into this product. Uh, I'm a huge uh, proponent of sodium intake pre-workout or, or all around the day for athletes. I think that the recommended daily amount of sodium should be much, much higher for athletes because sodium helps with contraction. The addition of potassium helps as well. Both are very important in regulating uh, hydration and blood pressure, but so, uh, potassium itself can actually really lower uh, blood pressure, which usually lends to um, more relaxed blood vessels, better pumps. I know that sodium helps me get a pump very, very, very much. So the two ingredients here, they're actually uh, added in as uh, bicarbonates. So be careful when you're shaking this up in your sub in your supplement shaker if you look at the um video of mike and me doing the outlift that had sodium and potassium bicarbonate added up we actually broke one of our shaker bottles because of the pop but anyway uh the three flavors came out with alpha pump uh orange grape which is down there and my blue uh blue gummy uh i've had blue gummies but i've been running a lot i've tasted the grape and i've never had the orange so i'm gonna do a little flavor testing for you guys at the end of this video overall the formula is it a whole pre-workout no it's 8.8 .8 grams i wouldn't take this long term however for my purposes what i really like it as is a standalone on light day so one day a week i do i go into the gym and i only do back work um, during that day i'm not lifting heavy weights i don't need a really big push but i do need to make sure that i'm driving a lot of blood flow so one day per week i'm happy taking a, a light pump pre-workout however other days i might be mixing heavy lifting alongside a pump aspect and that's where i like to add these into my pre-workout not every day i need to have a huge pump some days i'm going into move weight as a power lifter but if i'm talking about a regular gym rat a bodybuilder someone who is trying to uh, move blood into the muscle this is an awesome viable addition to your normal pre-workout especially if you're taking your mainstream pre-workout without any kind of gray area products in there i would definitely add this in to make it just have a little bit more of a punch or if you're looking for something light that doesn't have a lot of stim, that doesn't have a lot of ingredients, you just need a little bit of extra blood flow, this product is going to exceed that kind of expectation. For 8.8 .8 grams, you get a decent amount of blood flow, and I, I'm super happy with it as a versatile product that I can add into my arsenal on some days, or just use on its own if it's a day where I don't need much stimulant at all. All right, so I'm gonna do the blue gummy first. This blue gummy is uh, exclusively found at Natural Body. You cannot find it online anywhere else. You can't find it at any other store. Natural Body has the exclusive rights to selling this, and I think rightfully so because this product's pretty freaking awesome. Um, the flavor it is. Now, it's funny, when I think blue gummy, I was thinking blue raspberry, and uh, I hope this doesn't blow up for me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, the imagery that they gave us to think about were those blue gummy sharks, which I thought a lot of blue, there's a little bit of white at the bottom. That, that, you know, that, I don't know what you would, what you would call that flavor there, vanilla. But what really shines through to me, and I said this is them at the block party, there's Fruity Pebbles in there. It's really bizarre. There's a wonderful Fruity Pebbles flavor that comes straight through. And the sodium and potassium bicarbonate offer an awesome carbonation to the flavor. Just changes it up a little bit. 
be fun to find a flavor to match uh, mix this with. When I take two pre-workouts or a pump and a pre-workout together, I normally drink them separately. But these three flavors, I think you should be able to find a flavor that will match with them if you want to take it all month long. So this is my favorite flavor. I'm going to make that uh, very, very obvious. I'm going to go with grape. This was the one that I beta tested for them. Um, now, I beta tested this pretty early on in the process. I don't know if they had the flavor actually nailed down. I was not supposed to comment on the flavor at that point. I know that they were dealing with the clumping issues. Not clumping issues, but they were addressing the glycer size when they were adding it to it. Every company has to deal with, when you add a glycerol product like that, address how they're going to deal with the clumping because it is inevitable. So this flavor might be a little bit different than my beta testing. After I got the three products, I've exclusively used the blue raspberry because it's that good. But it should be interesting to see if this is the same flavor. This is actually much better than when I paid to tested it. So Mike says that these are like Fanta's, Fanta's, the sodas. That's why they're carbonated and they're orange and purple. I never had Fanta. I can remember those really annoying commercials in my head. But I'm not really a grape guy, but there's like some other tropical flavors in there. If this was the only flavor that they had, I could drink it because it's like grape and mixed berry kind of there's something else in there that i can't catch something sweet and grape to me just always reminds me of cough syrup so there's something sweet in there to help offset that it'll be interesting to see what comes up a second because grape and orange are both not favorite flavors of mine now when you mix these you're going to notice that there is a ridiculous amount of carbonation i mixed one by spoon originally Ugh. This is insane. Like, the amount of carbonation that this thing makes is incredible. When you mix it by spoon, it like, just, like, basically foams out of the cup. It's crazy. So it'll leave a lot of room. Orange. <coughs> Tastes like orange Fruity Pebbles kind of again. All right, so... That's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. I don't like orange, but that is a good orange. It's a sweet orange. It's, it's kind of like... Uh, Again, all three of these, I guess I've never had Fanta, but this is kind of like a soda-y orange. Wow. Okay, so my top three go, well, my three rankings of the three flavors, because there's only three flavors, go grape, third, orange, second, blue, first. Obviously, because it's just, I love blue raspberry. It's, it's like that blue gummy, fruit pebble, fruity pebble thing going. You got to go to Natural Body to get that. Final notes on Alpha Pump are that it's a pretty great standalone product. At 8.8 grams, you get a great pump out of it, plus the ashwagandha benefits and the Pico2 benefits. Adding it onto a pre-workout, you're going to get a significant extra amount of pump. However, if you're looking for a full-fledged pre-workout every day, this might not be the one for you to choose. I would look at this as a great addition to a pre-workout that needs a little bit extra performance and endurance and pump boosts, or as a rainy day option if you're a power lifter, a strength sports enthusiast, or someone who needs a little bit extra pump on an extra day, um, like myself. I don't need a pump product every single day. I eat well enough, I consume enough sodium, and I know how to train so that I can get enough of a pump where I don't need to spend a lot of money every month on pump products. However, for once a week on that um, weak body day, that weak part, my back is something I need to bring up. I can introduce that on that day, make sure there's more blood flow, and really grow that day. Or if I just want to end my workout, like my arm day, or if, I want to, uh, if I'm adding arms onto my bench day, I can add that to my pre-workout and reap those benefits on an occasion. It's not an everyday standalone product. It's a, it's a pump adder. So I think it's a very innovative idea to be like an add-on product. All of the ingredients in it, I think, are novel ingredients that have benefits, a host of benefits other than just pump. Check out our website for uh, the best deals on the product and use code PRICEFILE on Nutrex's website for 20% off. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day. Welcome to PRICEFILE.